Continuing on the custom card review streak, we're going to be talking about Piplup's 7th evolution coming in from Ryan. But before I go ahead and get into Ryan's uh, Piplup card, go ahead and send me custom cards to bhfcustomcards at gmail.com so I can get to your card in the future where I'm getting all these older custom cards out the way. So let's see what Ryan says inside the email. So Ryan says, hey Dev, wanted to send some cards your way since to be honest, I have way too many. Swarm Lake was an ambitious set of cards for me since one, they were all OCs for my own series I still need to make. And two, they were all made with the idea of being used with one another, something extreme class units need to be in my opinion. Anyways. I've got a couple of more cards here to show, so I hope you like them. Enjoy. So I gotta write down Ryan's name, as well as crossing out Piplup's evo ev evolution. Um, excuse me, I just bumbled over my words. But um, now one thing I want to say, I love Pokemon. It's a top three franchise for me, and seeing Piplup with a seventh evolution, how? Better yet, no, no, nah, I'm not gonna pull it up for example. Um. There are normally, I mean, come on out, pretty much three evolutions in Pokemon. That's your first one. Well, technically, it's base. Two evolutions, technically, because you have your base, you have your second evolution, and you have your final evolution. Uh, for Piplup to have a seventh evolution, so Ryan here says the first one is in an OC. This is a Piplup's seventh evolution from a Mugen mod called Sprite Club. All right, unit time. Every other character here is an OC, by the way, and I'm all for the OC for sure. Okay, so swift victory for the people. Piplup's seventh evolution. Uh, and these are stats as shown. A crazy high defensive stack. I'm just gonna guess that this guy stacks, right? I'm, I haven't even looked down to see, but I'm, maybe he stacks. I don't know. You guys can see it because I haven't looked down yet. Okay, so his leader skill is legendary existence, battle of fate, or full power three key and one 70% across the board. Any 30% of the stats is to accelerate a battle or tournament participants. Editing dev, you already know what to do. Go ahead and show us what this 200% leader skill is looking like. So this is what the 200% leader skill is looking like. It's more so looking like it's carried by Universal Survival Saga slash superhero characters, just at first glance, because you have Survival Saga, Survival Saga, uh, superhero, um, what, who else? Yeah, obviously not going to talk about you guys. Survival Saga, Survival Saga, Survival Saga, Survival Saga, Sur Survival Saga, Survival Saga again. Yes, okay, so it's carried by Survival Saga characters. We're going to just call a spade a spade. <laughs> Anyways, so his super attack effect for his 12 key, the Big Fall Penguin, 50% defense one turn, so he's not a stacker. 50% defense one turn while doing colossal damage to enemy and lowering their attack. And the quote is, oh shit, the people's champion strikes again. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, if he's, if, if, apparently he's a people's champion, I mean, he has the wrestling boots, the, the big ass boots. So why doesn't he have like the, you know, the belt? Just something to know maybe you could be like a like a, um i'm a champ maybe okay anyways uh his 18 key the justice rush so he oh okay so he is stacking greatly stacking attack as well as gaining 30 percent defense for four turns which is obviously a very nice super attack effect while doing mega colossal damage to enemies so no lowering attack no stunning no big deal but greatly stacking attack while getting 30 percent defense for four turns is obviously nice anyways uh, his passive, which is, holy hell, look at this passive. This shit is, wow. Um, how do I fit this onto the page? We're just gonna zoom out a quick second. We're just gonna highlight the entire thing. Okay. So the passive. Clash of Champions. Activates the interest animation upon the character's entry once only. Uh, plus an additional 100% attack and defense and launches an additional super for five turns from character's entry turn. So nice. Attack and defensive buff as well as the guarantee super for the first five turns is good considering the fact that he's getting 50% defense but at one turn for his 12 key super attack effect. Three key and 250% attack and defense at the start of turn. Uh, yeah, three key, 250% attack and defense at the start of turn. And plus an additional 20% attack and defense with each attack performed up to 100%. Obviously nice because he gets that additional super off from his interest animation buff. He also gets one key and a chance to dodge plus 10% up to 50% reach super attack form. So he should be able to easily build that up. And he gets a 20% chance to dodge when facing only one enemy. So when you fully build up that 50% chance to dodge, as well as having that 20% chance to dodge on the side, he gets up to a 70% chance to dodge, which is obviously nice. He also launches two additional attacks that both have a 50% chance to come with super attack, just unrestricted. And he also gets an additional 50% attack and defense, as well as 30% damage reduction from the turn in which the character performs the fifth attack in battle okay so it's very very 
it's very likely that this guy can touch four plus supers on a turn because but we gotta read the entire card before we said that <laughs> so he bro he launches an additional super attack and he gets an additional 30 percent damage reduction from the turn when this character does the 10th attack in battle so he's rewarded for just doing attacks <laughs> and he disables enemy action once within the turn when activating the active skill or when key is 24 so this guy is infinitely building up key kind of like the atheers kind of like the atheers where they build up their little their key don't they build up like key and dodge no not key and dodge a key and crit chance for the blue boys and then like key and uh, damage reduction damage reduction up to a certain point and uh crit chance up to a certain point for both the blue bros and the uh, gt duo but don't they infinitely build up key I, if i remember correctly anyways like what this guy is this guy's ceiling is ridiculous so that th th gets a guaranteed super after he does the 10th attack in battle so on the offensive end within those first five turns you get a guaranteed super so you do your first super let's count up every super attack this character could do so you do your first super you get your guaranteed super from your interest animation buff so that's two you get lucky let's just say for the sake of this video you get lucky you get those you launch those two additional attacks having 50 percent chance come a super attack let's just say that both of those are super so that's four super attacks you get off then let's say you for whatever reason you're uber lucky you got past the little 10 10th, 10th attack restriction that's five supers you get that guaranteed additional super off so this character can do up to five supers oh six with the hidden potential so six plus supers in the right situation uh provided you do get lucky and get that 10th attack off before interest animation buff does wear off so this character can do up to six supers right while being able to have in his back pocket what disabling enemy action up to 60 percent damage reduction as well as a 70 percent chance to dodge it's 60 percent damage reduction with a 70 percent chance to dodge is crazy it's ridiculous it's so it's crazy good obviously while being able to infinitely build up key because there's no point of where it stops provided you do supers you get one key for each super you do there's no stop to it um and this character builds up an easy attack and defensive buff with each attack performs so that's up to 100 percent attack and defense right over here this character has a bunch of stats in their passive they do yeah because they have 100 percent attack and defense for those first five turns as well as that three key and 250 percent attack and defense which is obviously monstrous they get that additional 100 percent attack and defense provided you those five attacks in battle as well as this additional 50 percent attack and defense right over here so that would be 50 percent and then it'd be additional 100 percent right over there and that'd be 150 percent in total and then of course that additional 100 percent attack and defense within those first five turns that's 250 percent so all that together is 500 percent attack and defense just all together with all that activated so three key 500 percent attack and defense up to six plus supers a 70 percent chance to dodge uh 60% damage reduction. I mean, what more is there to say? As well as to save enemy action. Okay. So, let's see what the uh, active skill is looking like. Okay, let's see. So, the entry quote still here. Did Shovel Knight not crush your hopes of winning? Why is Shovel Knight in this? That's what I like to see. Strength to never back down in the face of a challenge. Let's start this match so I can crush you in my embrace. So, the active skill, Piplup Tower so mastery raises attack temporarily causes ultimate damage to enemy and within the turn activated all attacks become guaranteed crit so you activate that active skill and he can do up to six plus supers i should say you get crazy lucky you get all those supers out you get past that 10th attack in battle ridiculous i mean come on now five six plus supers i mean crazy and i forgot to mention the fact that this character is getting defense multiple turns as well as stacking greatly stacking attack on their 18 key so their active skill is going to hit quite hard Let's put that out there can be activated when facing a battle of fate category enemy starting from the third turn from start of battle or one enemy starting from the fifth turn from start of battle so it's an easy activation condition to get off because it's just one turn one enemy out of the fifth turn and the quote tonight you will fall a champion you will fall as a legend who withstood their title but most of all you will fall links experienced fighters makes sense in fighter makes sense to I mean, kind of look at this damn pokemon like you should just gave it should just gave it a damn champion spell pokemon pokemon whatever uh supreme warrior 
Makes sense. Tough as nails. I mean, come on now. Also makes sense. Shocking speed, fierce battle, legendary power. And the next card is a... I do not know how to say that name. I'm just going to write down your name for that next time I get back to this. Um, Ryan, I believe that's your name. Thank you for sending your card. I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. Send me custom cards over to bhdevcustomcards at gmail.com. W card. Considering what this character is doing on both the offensive and defensive end, we're getting a lot of crazy two-way juggernaut characters. I did ax in the past. I need a crazy support out of one of you guys. I need a, a crazy strong support type unit. Not a support type unit that just gives 99999. Nine, 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 nine. A realistically strong support type unit. My challenge for you. I already said this challenge before. Come on, give me it. Give me it. But yeah, uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Again, I'll catch you guys in the next one. I absolutely love you all. Thank you for watching. Peace.